Welcome to the boiler room. It's the eve of the official launch of Undisputed. Of course, we have the early access and the true early access people like us on the PC. Who's been playing for damn near two years now. The consoles are getting it. Mixed reviews for the game, but I think it's been a real nice improvement compared to where it was in the spring. So with this Red Dead Redemption 2 in the background, let's go play Usyk versus Tyson Fury. I'll be Usyk. Put it on Undisputed, the most difficult. Oh, I was, of course, playing around Frazier and Ali. I'm telling you, the Red Dead Redemption 2 soundtrack is so damn good. I can just listen to this all day. All right. We'll go online later, but we're going to warm up a little bit here. Bank robbery theme. That's a good place to start. I don't want anything too quiet. I am boxing here after all. Bank robbery theme. Good place to start, I think. All right. <clears throat> Again, we'll get into the online soon enough. We're really just testing this out a little bit. I got a new monitor. I'm not playing at 1440p right now, but I can. Staying at 1080p though, because I want to get the best experience with the stream. I'm also recording this on YouTube, so hopefully the frames per second is up a good amount. Hopefully all the quality is good. We'll find out. This new monitor though, I got it on sale, real nice. Let's go on disputed. 15 rounds. Why the fuck not? Tell this is the bank robbery. <laughs> you know, Asmund Gold, one of the most successful streamers of all time, always has Skyrim music going on in the background. I kind of stole the idea. All right, I'm Usyk on the blue corner. Let's see what's up. So let me make sure I can see chat in case someone rolls through. There we go. In the red corner from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches. Not cam going. Champion of the world, the Background's King. looking okay. Ready to rock. I'm on the right. Usyk, Southpaw. <laughs> Got my nice uppercut there. Again, goal today is to play Zen-like. I played on... Uh, early access launch on Tuesday, a couple days ago. Ooh, I got him good there. I was just got on tilt, on my so I need to not get on tilt. Play, play smart, smooth like butter. In fact, maybe Bruce Lee had it right. Be water, my friend. I was boiling steam by the end of. <laughs> the first night I was playing this a couple nights ago. Now I'm chill. Went for a nice long run today. Got the nervous energy out. Super tired from work, but let's do this thing. Bank robbery. Hey, a big shot, baby. What's up? Slow, brother. Pretty good now. Adding this Red Dead Redemption music is a great idea. <laughs> Hope I don't get copyright on YouTube. I am uploading this on YouTube later. Just a little warm up fight. But also, I'm going to be talking about some of the pros and cons I've seen. Might as well start. <clears throat> Number one, people are really pissed about spamming of. Good old fat. Oh, big shot. Good here. So we got it back. 
admired my work. People are really uh, already sick and tired of Power Punch Spam on uh, Ranked. Well, I certainly was as well by Tuesday night. I'm glad just other people are having issues with it because I just felt like maybe I'm totally washed and I can't beat anybody. <laughs> that might still be true. But, yeah. Stamina's out of control. Everyone seems to agree, which is good. But not good that it's out of control, but good that everyone agrees. F up. So. Oh, big shot! Push pass. I gotta get good at pushing. Music is really smooth. Fast, but also powerful. So used to using Frazier. No reach. Oh my god. I love my Frazier, but. I'm gonna lose it too. Who's six cruiser weight? They don't have cruiser weight online, but here we go. Tell you, dude, Red Dead Redemption soundtrack is the best every song. Replay Red Dead. Beat it, which is rare. I don't beat that many games these days. God of War, as well as uh, Elden Ring. I've got like 70, 80 hours into both and I just never finished them. Fallout 4, got like 100 hours into it, never finished it. I got, you know, I end up in settlements building shit, wasting time. But I fucking beat Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes. Of all those games I just named, is right in the past. Right? Oh. Frazier, I can't get rid of him, but I do think I'm so deadly, man. I'm at like 150 plus frames per second right now. I had it capped at 120 frames per second on my 1080p monitor, but now that I'm upgraded to a monitor that supports 65 hertz, and I'm only at 1080p right now, I have not moved this game to 1440p yet. I did some testing and I totally was able to still get 150 frames per second at 1440p. But it's the streaming and saving the file. You know, that's an issue. I think my computer can still handle even that, but to downscale from 1440 to 1080 without getting too nerdy about it is annoying. So, and it's really actually Twitch is the main thing causing me problems. Because the max Twitch rate for an affiliate like me. 6,000 kbps, I mean like 15 to 20,000 kbps to get a good 1440p stretch, so not doing it right now. But this game still looks great in 1080 and 1440 is good. It's all about the frame rate, frame rate, you know what I mean? Shit, just a few years ago we were playing 30 frames per second UFC 4, if you didn't have a PlayStation 4. I ain't even using that many power shots. I know they're gonna fix it. Alright, alright. Hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, I want you to comment, please, in the comment section, what you think about this game. And also, maybe who your favorite fighter is in this game so far as you have. Do me a favor. The YouTube algorithm just loves pushing them up, baby. Low state right now. But the YouTube algorithm loves comments. And also likes too, so if you could give me a like, that would be nice. That would be the only begging I ask of you, you know, the begging I do of you guys today, but I do want to hear the comments for real. That's not just for YouTube algorithm. I'm not even trying to make money off of streaming at all. Trust me. I'm just here to have fun and talk to you guys. Fight some of you guys. I want to spar some of you guys too, so. If you're on YouTube, remember, I got a Twitch, a uh, live Twitch stream where I spar people all the time. I'm sure uh, tonight and this weekend we'll get a lot of people in here to, to spar. <clears throat> all right, I'm doing good, man. This game, you got to just go a little slower and methodical compared to UFC 4. The 
that dead music. It's got me in a flow state. No, music just feels great. This is really the first time I've used them since the beta. Oh, nice. It's just, I love South Paws. It's got a great lead hook. It's just fast, tough. I'm able to like just use some great head movement, get out of range, and just come back big. I like it. Caught me there though. This is tough. I'm having a rematch. What time? In December this year? <clears throat> if you guys are getting frustrated playing online, Play offline against computer on undisputed. It's actually pretty fun, at least for a little while. Hey, this AI here is fun to play against right now. It's, it's more fun than some some online games at least. Trust me, I love online. I will always be playing online. A little bit of desync online. Number one, number two. People are playing cheesy as fuck, and they got a passion to a little bit. So. I know a lot of people that only play offline, but I'm a little pissed off, a little on tilt. I'm talking to myself here. Play some offline. Play some Red Dead Redemption is going to be good happy. Also, I'm taking tomorrow off work, so I'm happy. Great. Honestly, the hit detection and tracking is not that bad in this game offline. Online where it fucks you up. Because this has kind of a... It's just different than the UFC games when they like, they like stutter and, and whatnot. This game tries to smooth it out. It's like, oh, it's not even lagging, but it is the desync and ghost punches. And that makes it seem like the punches are tracked. That's what I think. What's happening, brother? Oh! I mean, I'm playing with Usyk, and I hate to say it, but I'm having a lot of fun with him. I feel like I'm cheating on Frazier or something. Usyk's fucking smooth as butter. Okay, see, trust the process. I've been tuning him up with uh, some good counters. Ooh, but look at the stamina. I need to be careful not to gas myself out. I really haven't even been throwing any power shots. I'm down to 76. Been up to minors. What's your opinion on the game? Just listening to some Red Dead Redemption soundtrack. Playing the computer, get warmed up. Great, Mr. Music. Tomorrow, Esports Fight League, ESFL. We got uh, our owner of. We are having the first undisputed event. 
on our launch. We had an entire season of Undisputed last summer. 15 months ago, summer, not three months ago, summer. But, uh, yeah, first one of actual launch tomorrow. Look forward to that. That's a good card ready to go. So check out at ESFL Gaming on YouTube and on Twitch and on X. By the way, Minors, I'm cutting a uh, YouTube video right now, essentially. I'm like, before everyone rolls into the stream itself, I'm just going to kind of talk to myself. But also talk to my YouTube audience, because I got a pretty good uh, good response from my latest videos. I got 20 new subscribers in the last week, which is pretty awesome, man. Ooh, he caught me big earlier there. I'm having a little bit of a tougher uh, round here. He's, he's adapting. That's where sometimes the computer holds off from the gas and then it comes at you hard late. Dude, Roy is incredibly difficult and fucking. I've only fought him once. I think you saw me actually fight him, but he was just like destroying me. Throwing seven, eight piece perfect combos, just each one landing. And I was trying really hard not to get killed. So, yeah. I think Roy Jones undisputed level, possibly the most difficult. I haven't fought against like Sugar Ray Robinson. <laughs> Terminator. I feel like it's worse than a Terminator. He's gone already. Just make sure you follow through. Still allowing me to follow shots. Don't forget the jump. Woo. Yeah, I lost that round just like I felt like I did. All right, I got to fight a little smarter here. Let's go. Really try not to <clears throat> blow my stamina. I know they're gonna fix stamina, and pretty much everyone agrees stamina's broke as a joke right now. Ooh, nice uppercut, to the body, baby. Maybe I'll try Roy Jones on one level underneath undisputed my noise. All right, he did some damage to my head there with a couple big shots, but yeah, buddy, that's gonna be a really fun fight. I'm not gonna stream on Saturday actually, but I will be watching that fight. I will be out of town on Saturday potentially, but I will be back pretty quick. And I will be on a fair amount tonight, even more tomorrow, as well as ESFL, and then probably take Saturday off. But I'm looking forward to that fight for sure. Sunday, ESFL, we're having our second card, and I'll be on after that. Then I'll probably take two, three, four days off, to be honest. But I swear, I'm going to stream at least twice a week till the end of the year, minimum. I need to stream twice a week, forever. I got so sick of the, ooh, that was a nice work I did had right there. I got so sick of UFC 5, and I didn't want to burn out on this game when it was just the early access still. And, so I didn't, and I didn't really want to stream any other games except for like this in UFC, to be honest. Because I'm not actually good at any other games. <laughs> and no one gives a fuck about watching me get a .8 kill-death ratio in Battlefield or Call of Duty or something. I'm better at Battlefield, actually. Or like Call of Duty. But yeah, dude. I'm off work tomorrow. I've been busting my ass at work. I've had a really long week, but I'm done now. Whenever things were going real rough at work, or I woke up tired of shit in the morning early because I had to go to the office and do things. It wasn't too crazy of a week, but it was not. It was tough, but I was just like, come on, man. Power through it. It's a fucking undisputed week, man. You can do it. Now, 10 years ago, I would have said, uh, fuck it. I'm just going to call in sick all week to play undisputed. <laughs> I'm old and, and I think of the long term. All my shit done all week at work. Really, you know, I can guilt free play and then come back on Monday and not, not be totally fucked. Yeah, I'm also just, just responsible and shit. God. But um, this fight right here is feeling super smooth. You might have missed it, my noise, but I got a new monitor. Like a uh, 1440p 
165 hertz Asus or Asus A S U S. Um, pretty good discount. These, this thing used to go for like 750 bucks, and I got like two fifty or less. Anyway, I'm playing at 1080p still right now. But just even at 1080p, this looks really good. And I boosted the frame rate, so I'm running at like 150, 160 frames right now instead of 120, like I was a couple days ago. And I'm playing offline, so there's no desync. Put that together, and I'm feeling very smooth right now. Usix. This fight ain't over yet, though. Someone said there might be a patch tomorrow. I don't know if I can believe that or it's true, but that's what they said. All right, let's take a look at this. See, I've been working his face pretty good. He's bleeding a little bit. He's, he's lost about 20% of his head health, I guess. Or like the damage. His health's down to 74. Mine's at 77. The stamina is a huge difference, but I just got to be careful. Not to blow my load at the end. I haven't really been working the body too much, but I thought I've been pretty judicious with my strikes, but I've been at this somewhere. Hey, I won't ever complain about the being, you know, lack of stamina. There's always been too much stamina, too many spammers in these games. You feel me? So, Usyk's got a good jab too. That's actually one thing I'm really loving right now that I don't get to use with Frazier is the fucking jab. Because Frazier's jab is like a T-Rex jab. Gotta use oh, that's... Ooh, we're going at it, but I'm getting the better of him, man. Cut, cut. But he's got it. Baby. Can't fire one for one against Tyson Fury for sure. I know that. But oh, big shot! I took a nasty shot there. I gotta be careful. I'm starting to slow down a little bit now. It takes until you're at least to this stamina, if not even lower, before you even start slowing down, which is, needs to be a little tougher than that. <laughs> You also have a 1440p, but never play above 1080. Okay, good to know. I did some experiments last night, and I was able to get 140 plus frames in this game, at least, on 1440p. And my graphic card use was like 85%. Whereas right now, it's at like 55 or 60% at 1080p, whatever. So, it's definitely stressing my graphics card less doing this. Now, also, I was not encoding. I was not streaming, nor encoding, recording, whatever, when I was running that. So, if I had this at 1080p right now, it might. It, I mean, my graphics car would be melting in there. But, I mean, it's meant to. It's an RTX 3080. This should be able to handle a fair amount of shit. I mean, I ain't doing 4K. I will say, I could tell this game seemed a little crisper. Maybe a little bit less jagged lines in the background, maybe. Or I don't even know, but it could just be placebo effect, too. But at 1080, not much, though. And I'd much rather have 1080p at 150 plus frames a second than 1440p at, like, 80 frames a second, I think. For this game. A shooter where you want to be able to see really far, very clearly, you might want the resolution more than the frames a second, or, or I don't know. Of course, you want really high frames a second in shooters too. But I, yeah, good to know that though for sure, Ryan Orson. Because I'm just kind of bullshit. Uh, I'm gonna keep this at 1080p for now. But man, a big part of it though, again, is because Twitch. All right, let's get back into this fight here. It is the 10th round. Definitely catching them, beating them to the punch, hurting them. I'm a little tired, but I'm just being really careful. Of how punch right now. Oh, yeah. 
I'm really starting to like the zoomed in mode as well. At first, I was really not sure about it. I like it. Let's just say this Tyson Fury is way less crazy than <laughs> Lloyd Jones Jr. Terminator. So I don't know if different guys have different. You know, different boxers have different. Uh... Oh, big uppercut! What up, Tide Mantis? Here's a question for you. Do you like Fight Night or do you like boxing games at all? Have you ever played any that you liked? If so, I think it's worth it. It may not be worth buying the early version with all the extra fighters and shit. So you can buy it this weekend. You don't have to buy it. I mean, it's pretty much tomorrow. Um, and you know what? I can totally see if you're like, yeah, I kind of like boxing games, but not that much. Wait like three, four, six months. Maybe you'll get like you know, 20 bucks off. And they'll have like two or three patches by then, so it'll already be better. So if you're not in a huge rush, you know, you can definitely wait. Maybe save some money. It might take like, you know, until next spring, though, for them to really drop, drop the price, maybe. But, uh, but I think it's fun. It's fun. I'm having a great time with it. But I love boxing games, but I feel like if it's played the right way, it's actually pretty well put together. You'll see a lot of examples of people spamming and cheese and like motherfuckers out there that's but like watch this gameplay right here let me know what you think i feel like it's been pretty smooth i'm usik on the right this music is not from the game it is from red dead welcome to the boiler room by the way ufc5 yeah man i mean i the only games I really stream is this game and UFC 5, so... I think you would like this game if you like UFC 5. It might take a little bit of getting used to or whatever, but... I think this game has a lot of potential. If you like UFC 5 and you like Fight Night, it's totally worth getting, dude. Uh, good question. There is. There's a competitive ranked, ranked mode, and then there's Quick Fight, and then you can just invite your friends. So what I do, one of my favorite things of streaming is I can just, you know, whether it's you or my Nors or any of my friends, they can come on and we just spar, right? And we, you know, we're having a little friendly bouts. No cheesing, no using some bullshit, right? And sometimes we agree not to always use, like, the best rated fighters. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I've gotten a couple spars in. Uh, but I'm playing the computer right now, and it's actually legit. So this Tyson Fury on the left just seems pretty legit to me. And online, you know, if you want to try to climb the leaderboard and all that shit, grind the leaderboard, there's definitely the that. By the way, if you never heard of my league, ESFL Gaming, I'm going to be doing plug right here. Check out ESFL Gaming if you want the most competitive. It's right there, baby. We're a league that's done a lot of UFC 5. And we're actually having our first undisputed event tomorrow. October 11th on launch day. So There you go, man. There's my advertisement. <laughs> I've already convinced you. Yeah. Oh, man. They owe me at least, like, $2 now. Like, <laughs> Sold the game for him. That's cool, dude. Let me know how you how you like it. Come on through. I'll be st streaming a fair amount. Not every day, unfortunately. I can a fucking job. So <laughs> the pay's better than Twitch sometimes. But anyway, I'll be around a lot. We can spar. I'm on PC, but I'm gonna buy it on PlayStation 5 soon. If you're on Xbox, we might not be able to play. To be honest. But someday they'll do crossplay, but they don't have it yet. That's a negative. That's a bad part. But I'm okay with that because they need to fix other parts of the game. Oh, I'm fucking them up now, baby. Yeah, we're going 15 rounds, not 12. Dude, I had a great, great amount of damage. I just did them right there. Fury's tough as shit, though. It's hard to. Hard to hurt him, really. Nice, Mantis. I like it, dude. Yeah, this is PC right here. Um, if I can buy a game that's PC, I'll buy it on PC. 
course, some games you can only get. Oh, look at that cut. That cut looks pretty good. I think the graphics in this game look pretty good. The, some of the punches look a little weird, but they're working on it. They've improved some punches already. But I think the, like the actual fighters, the boxers look pretty cool. And that cut looked pretty nasty. All right. No guarantee that I win, but I'm ahead for sure. I'm going for a finish, though. Fuck it. We're here for finishes, right, boys? No, I never boxed in real life. Nope. I played football. But never boxed or wrestled or did MMA or jiu-jitsu or nothing like that. I kind of wish I did, though. Maybe not box. I didn't get fucked up. Box. Jiu-jitsu or wrestling, though. But I played football and basketball. Yeah, tons of respect for fighters, though, for sure. I've always loved boxing. Ooh, he got me good. You see that? Oh, now I'm going slow. Look how slow I'm walking. You can tell that I'm walking slow now. And look, if you look at my like health at the bottom, it has a red cross through it. That means my stamina is super low. So my stamina is low, lower than his, but he's hurt pretty bad. Hey, if Tyson Fury might be able to come back and finish me? I don't think so. But I got to be careful. I'm glad I... Uh, Got me pretty good there. I've been trying hard to conserve my stamina all fight, which is what I have been. Otherwise, I would really be in trouble by now. I've heard him pretty good. Those are some good shots, man. That was nice. Oh, he fires back. My head's hurt. I got to back out. Look how long it takes for my head health to regenerate. There's no reason for me to jump in there right now. I'm going to keep, keep backing up a little bit. Have you ever boxed or done MMA or kickboxing or anything, man? All right. You know, if I lose these next couple rounds, I could lose on points, so I need to make sure I... Oh, my. And if I get knocked down, I definitely could. So I got to keep fighting smart. Keep trying to hurt them. Also, not gas out. Or get knocked out on some bullshit. Like the, that double jab I did right there looked kind of shitty. By kind of shitty, I mean really shitty. But a lot of the punches have gotten better. I will say that. Oh, I landed a big power uppercut, then a hook to the body. You see that? That was nice. In my opinion, it used to be like 40% of the punches looked really good, and the rest either looked okay or shitty. Now it's like 60% look really good, and 40% look okay or shitty. And the shitty ones, there's only a few shitty ones. It's still like missed. Missed and blocked shots are the ones that look the worst so far. You know, or continue to still look pretty bad. Because they're not like modeling the physics of the punch hitting the shoulder and rolling off correctly or, or falling short correctly. It's kind of like awkward. But they've, they've fixed a couple or they've improved it. So I'm hoping they'll keep bad and they said they were in the uh, motion capture you know, over the summer getting more mocap you know <laughs> I'm Mexican of course I box <laughs> awesome whoa buddy Woo! he's after me man I hit him there but he's fucking after me Look at his head health, though, man. I might be able to knock him down this round or hurt him really bad. He's got less than half of his damage on the left there. I'm I'm hurt a little bit. I got my swelling is is kind of bad, but I should be alright. I can stop the fight. On that. Look at my stamina, only 35 percent. Box kickboxing. Hey, thanks for the follow, buddy. Thank you. Oh, you box and kickboxing and jiu-jitsu. Fuck yeah, yeah, amateur, but. 
that's so cool, man. That's, that sounds fun. Are you uh, trying to become a pro someday, or are you just doing that to just get in there and compete? Either way, that's awesome. Are you trying to be an MMA guy? Hey, my league, by the way, the ESFL Gaming, our president, one of my friends and the co-owner, his name is Z Hunter. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, and he owns a jiu-jitsu gym in Texas. So, he's legit, man. He competes, competes at like the, what is it? IBJF, JJF, or some shit in Las Vegas. Too late to be pro, never. <laughs> I feel you up, man. Hey, man, as long as you have fun with it. Twenty-three. I'm too late to be pro, brother. Thirty-nine. Not good. What happened? How did that happen? I thought I was twenty-three this time a few years ago. <laughs> oh, big shot. Oh well. Oh, it's the circle of life. I saw a dude named Grandpa Gaming. Maybe you guys know him because he's pretty. He's got like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Big uppercut. Ooh, he got me back, but I heard him. Anyway, Grandpa Gaming's like super good at fucking sniping and shit on those first-person shooters. I got him. Let's go. Let's go. He's in the corner. This is the last round. Oh, this is 30 seconds. Last round. Let me try to set up a knockout or at least a knockdown. Fuck. Give me the body, dude. He got me in the bread basket. I'm not sure which one, but it fucked me up. Back out. I heard him. Ha <laughs> oh, ha! Oh, man. Good end of the fight there, though. Hey, I just got a new achievement. 10,000 uppercuts. You six gonna pee blood. Did you see that uppercut he got me with? That was beautiful, right to the, right to the fucking bladder, like you said. <laughs> In Mexico, it's not that easy to find good jiu-jitsu or MMA gym. Okay, good boxing gym everywhere. Oh, I'm sure, buddy. Hell yeah. Gotta love the Mexican boxing spirit. I'm, I use Canelo in this for sure. Joe Frazier's my favorite boxer. Even though he's from Philadelphia, you could damn near say he's like a Mexican fighter. He just looks to get in there and scrap, and he has to get hit to hit him back. You know, he don't even start fighting hard until he gets fucking his face beat in a little bit, just like a Mexican fighter. So, <laughs> I love that style, dude. All right, let me... Uh, I'm going to end the YouTube video here, but I'm going to stay streaming on Twitch. But hopefully you guys like that. That was a really fun 15-rounder. Uh, Usyk, Tyson Fury. Just the day before the real launch, we had, of course, Red Dead Redemption going on in the background. I thought that was good ambiance. Anyway, be sure to like, sub, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. I appreciate you guys. We'll get another YouTube video out this weekend as well. Catch you later.